Welcome, folks. Craig Lane here, day 18. Um, for me, the second to last day of the um, sort of the basic food chart recommends, and I'll continue taking my supplements through the weekend. I'm here to inspire you today with some unseen forces. And a quick check in is um, for me, the mornings, um, I've been seeing this consciousness thing about not taking thoughts as my own, and this depression in the morning that comes over me, I take an anti-parasite, been saying that, VRM3, which is a cell size in the uh, systemic formulas. And then I'm depressed an hour, two hours, three hours later, four hours later, but it's because the bugs are dying off and their home is being uprooted, which is the rotten biofilm. Bugs change their lifestyle based on our terrain. It's our responsibility. And we're not a victim. We're not a victim to pathogens. We're not a victim to anything. But what we are victims to is the, um, the people in controls, control of the environment, which is toxic. Um, we have toxic water um, in municipal water systems that is not prepared properly. Um, we have toxic air. Lots of stuff being sprayed in the air. Everyone can agree on that. You can call it pollution. You can call it chemtrails. You can call it persistent contrails. Everyone can agree on that. Go to Jim Lee, climateviewer.org, climateviewer.com. Jim Lee speaks in Congress. So he's the most, to me, Dane Wigington at geoengineeringwatch.org is not credible. So toxic air. And then I have my five toxicities I talk about. And um, maybe we'll go over that tomorrow, the five toxicities. Um, let's do that five toxicities so you can understand so the five toxicities are basically um chemical waste heavy metal waste normal metabolic waste microbial waste which is quite a thing to deal with and what i call radiation damage tissue waste and that's where your viruses and some of the stuff comes into play with this because pathogens love a radiation rich environment like candida uses radiation, uses mercury, uses heavy metals against our own immune system. So I should tell you something about the intelligence of life here, unseen forces. All right, so let's go into a quick logistics for me. This depression in the morning, uh, like today I went to bed at midnight and probably slept until almost midnight today after I wake up a few times to piss in the morning and at night. And I could have slept even longer. So when we're in that kind of mode, the worst thing we can do is use a stimulant to poke ourselves along because that tiredness is parasympathetic dominance instead of sympathetic fight or flight dominance. And our body's telling us like, I need, so if we didn't have to make money and we didn't have the pressure we had, a lot of us would sleep a lot more, we'd rest a lot more, we'd nap a lot more, we'd chill a lot more. And that's the world I'm trying to create. And I have for myself, like, yeah, I can make more money and what the money, what does the money do to a person that's not present in their body? The money is worthless. If you don't enjoy your own presence in your own body, with your own environment, with your own people and community, then to me, the money is worthless. I'd rather be broke and be happy in my body than rich and unhappy in my body by working my ass off, you know, just for money. And so this is raw liver here. So what I do is like right now, I'm sort of, I had my supplements and stuff this morning and I had some liquid meals and now it's three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to have this and then I'll have a meal about six with a potluck tonight. And uh, so this is raw liver. This is lamb liver. I've marinated in teriyaki sauce, a little chunk. You know, I don't care for it, but, and then I have a, a sushi roll with raw tuna. See there with veggies and tuna and a rice paper wrap. I've kind of been living on that one to two of those a day. And then I have a nice sauce and this liver. And then um, later today, there'll be a potluck. And I'm not really going to indulge until tomorrow night. Today, it's Thursday night. So tonight, I'll just show up with a potluck and I'll bring some healthy stuff and I'll stick to my own food. And I might take some stuff to go. And, and then I have my community dinner tomorrow night, which that talk will be community dinner focus. And I have a special guest tomorrow night. Uh, Tim King's going to talk about healing the shame that binds you so um there's a whole piece of shame versus guilt all right so let's go to the i'm going to show you a chart that i found very helpful 
I'm not going to go into the usual uh, what I have done logistically, but we will go through this. So this chart is in the uh, cleanse folder. See right here, cleanse checkoff list, colon cleanse. And so this chart then, oh, where'd it go? Sorry. This chart here shows us, see, am I getting enough water? Am I getting my herbal teas if I'm constipated? Am I getting my cleansing binding fiber? Uh, the SP cleanse for me is over. So I'm taking uh, K kidney and L liver from systemic formulas. Live green juices. I made a big apple juice, green juice thing yesterday. Be sipping on that. Cruciferous veggies. Yes, I do cabbage for mine. Um, sometimes raw. Uh, bitter greens. My favorite bitter green is probably escarole and radicchio. Um, herbal liver tea. I'm taking a liver supplement there. I'm thinking a radish salad. I have a roasted garlic. Um, so remember the soluble fiber was kind of the thing this week. Um, I am doing raw beets. I am doing leafy greens. I am doing raw carrots, very few sprouts, enough fruit to keep my weight up. SP complete detox, flesh protein, raw only veggie juice. There's a fruit and veggie juice and then all raw. So see, I've been following my list pretty good. Probiotics is kraut juice and then yoga every day. Uh, liver points, dry skin brush, castor oil packs. Got my enema in yesterday. So that's the big report is I did my enema yesterday and that's what we're going over today is the, uh, you know, what happened with that? Cause that's the big agenda today is, you know, like what the heck is an enema and you know, how does that work? And so I have a coffee enema video on my YouTube channel. I highly suggest watching it. And so there's the final one right there. You know, I'm going to talk about that. And my goal was to have a few right in here. And so what I ended up doing was uh, the actual one was on day 17, which was yesterday. So we put an X there. And then that will get highlighted with green because I actually did it. And then these will be highlighted in yellow because they weren't done. Oh, terribly sorry. And then um, tomorrow won't get an enema done, but Saturday that will be a question mark because I would love to get one in on Saturday. Um, so we'll put a little thing there. All right. And um, so that's the cleansing list. I've shown you where that is. And we're gonna go through that in a second. This is our drainage outlets. Um, this document, drainage outlets, water flows downhill is in the drainage foundation uh, folder, which is not part of the cleanse which means you need to be a member or a paying a paying member or buying stuff through us to get access to that. Um, just, just like Green Med Info, I got to make money too to pay for my rent. So that's the name of this uh, drainage outlets, water flows downhill. Uh, we'll go through a little bit of cell stuff. This is the same Mark Squibb cell owner's manual, 2008 Mark Squibb. And then here's the fall cleanse. So what we're going to do is see if you want to see the toxic, the kinds of toxins, there's four here, but I don't list the fifth. And if you go up to the main cleansing, then see toxicosis five types. So that's the one you want that I'll go over tomorrow. And what I've done here is they've been typed here with remedies versus this one is in a JPEG format not quite as easy to use, see? So I took this and put it into a different format and it doesn't list uh, just radiation, microbial, metabolic, chemical, heavy metal. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's five there. Sorry, folks. And so that'll need to get changed. Um, we can just rename that real quick here. So while we're talking here, um, why is that not working? Okay, while we're talking here, then what we want to realize is um, five types. There, that's better. And then we go back to the fall cleanse folder. Um, doesn't seem to be working. We are in the fall cleanse folder. Okay, so here is the anatomy of the colon. Um, So when we talk about colon cleansing, the major, this is a PowerPoint that is available. It's in the cleanse folder 
right there in the PowerPoint. So you can get access to this. And there's what the colon looks like. So from your belly button, it wraps around and then goes down. And you see it starts on the right hip. So the appendix is at the right hip. And then it goes up by the liver, goes across to the spleen, and a lot of digestive organs right in here in the middle, right there in the middle of the screen. And then right here in the bottom where it rips down to where you finally poop, that's usually a bit swollen. And see, there's an intestinal maze. And notice the brain and the intestines here on this little critter look the same. Notice how much the gut and the brain look alike. So you can pause these. This was the beginning one. The stages of digestion. You can freeze that. Okay. So you swallow here, it goes to the stomach, and then the small intestine or the small bowel is quite large, and then the colon's much shorter. And if you spread all this out, it covers the tennis court. If you spread out your intestines, it covers the tennis court. And it has to be renewed every three to seven days. So that's a lot of cell turnover. A lot of people don't realize. And so you've got to have you've got to have it clean to renew the tissue. Otherwise, if you renew new tissue and toxic tissue, you end up with uh, Franken molecules. There's what the inside looks like. So see, that's what it looks like. And then there's individual cells there. And there's your portal veins that I speak so much to. We're going to look at that in a second. So see... That's basically what it all looks like. And then there's another view of the intestines there. This is a graphic representation of the portal veins. I went over it yesterday. See all the digested food in these organs goes back to the liver. This is what a cell looks like of a gut cell. See, and the fat goes into the lymphatic system. There's the pancreas and duodenum, the upper intestine. That probably isn't helpful for each of you, but I just kind of rolling through the PowerPoint. You can pause this. All right, so that's done. Now we go over to, if you're constipated, so this is the cell health. And we're just going to go through this really quick. If you're constipated, um, this guy's really into Emmanuel Ravici. So Ravici is R-E-V-I-C-I. And Emmanuel Ravici is, um, if you want to do this natural, magnesium thiosulfate, I would say that's uh, green juice from green cabbage, watercress, arugula would be your natural way to get that. Not exactly, but you get the sulfur and the magnesium from the raw greens. Emulsified vitamin A, I'd say, well, you know, get some egg yolks and cod liver oil, and liver, and there's your emulsified vitamin A. Sorry if you're a vegan, you've got to take a supplement. It's not going to work because there's no preformed vitamin A in the vegan world generally. Um, the dark uh, the dark oils, though, like, you know, if you're a vegan, then you're not going to do butter, but there's definitely vitamin A in raw butter. So raw butter would be another good choice. Maybe the red palm oil because it's got that bright red pigment. So those are what you want. And then anti-anabolic cofactors and anti-anabolic cofactors, you know, we'll look at that. Um, but they're saying that just to get a laxative, you know, but it's not addressing the underlying problem. So we'll look at anti-anabolic cofactors uh, later. But I love the idea of vitamin A and magnesium if you have constipation, like cod liver oil uh, or castor oil used to be used. And see, loose stools use result from unquenched stomach acid. So that's why I take stomach acid every meal. So if you have diarrhea, you got to work on the area above the colon. <clears throat> Get your bile work done. That's raw. See, there's raw beets. The bile path will be physically plugged. That's greater celandine, raw radish, raw beet. Long-term insomnia. Got to get the person on potassium. That's greens again. So anti-catabolic, see. And then he's saying in the uh, in, in butyl alcohol, other anti-catabolic cofactors. And that's from, uh, and that's where he says, look, dietary sterols, if you have, so there's the cream, the butter, the coconut oils, and normalizing catabolic metabolism. 
Um, so that's some remedies for the colon itself. You could ask yourself why, because so many therapists have talked about, here's what it looks like in the colon, removing biofilm. So there's the sludge. And so you can have diarrhea and still be constipated because of your biofilm is full of sludge. So that's what the chelating fiber and the herbs do. See these chunks start breaking off. And then that's why people that generally do the psyllium clay drinks, eventually on the slide on the far right here, you'll see uh, I passed out black tar, mucus, squid threads, um, zebra striped, jellyfish came out of me. And that's what this number slide three is. And see slide four here at the bottom is showing us there's the sludge on top and then it being released, see? So you can get better absorption. And this is the way it should look down there. Large and small intestine. But we can also look at this in another way uh, we haven't looked at yet. And here's what the actual gut cells look like. And um, this is from the Gut and Psychology Syndrome book that will give uh, Dr. Natasha full credit. Oops, sorry. So a healthy gut cell has all these enzymes as like, see, as hair and an unhealthy gut cell, you're not absorbing very much. And then, so with dysbiosis, you're, you're pretty much in anaerobic metabolism. You wanna be in aerobic and that's the basis of cancer. So the reason why the colon and the intestines are so important because you need to have these healthy cells, not the unhealthy. And on the tongue, that's where you can find that out. And I'll show you my tongue again today. Um, then finally, there's a drainage outlets. Again, we kind of went through this and I won't talk about it much, but I'll just go through it slow. And you can screenshot main functions of the large intestine. Now let's blow that up a little bit. Sorry, this is annoying. So there's things that the, the colon does. Regulation of absorption is occurring by these hormones. See how we're talking about parasympathetic dominance. Large intestine motility. Again, just pause this if you're reading it. If you have Crohn's, this is a, again, this is from um, an external source. I'll get you that in a minute. I want to give them credit. Bile production is so important for the colon. That's where your fat soluble toxins leave the body and need to be bound up. There's the little bile duct, common pancreatic duct. There's a type of bile salts. And there's your gallstones jaundice, fat, steroteria is fat in the stool. I have that. What defecation looks like. Oh, teachmephysiology.com. There it is. There's the link. So we give teach me physiology full credit. There's some rectal stuff, defecation. And that kind of tells you how things work here in drainage outlets. And we're going to end there today. I hope that you got something out of today's uh, video blog. Um, personally, part of cleansing is just realizing that a lot of what we think is ours isn't ours. And um, on my day 18, um, I can honestly say I, I didn't go as deep as I wanted, but this three month reset has allowed me to see in greater clarity. Like I had, uh, I actually had coffee this morning. I had about this much coffee with cream and honey and some herbs in with it. And it definitely got me going. My body's been asking for it, but I wasn't sure if it was, you know, it's not cleansing and it slows down the process, but did a coffee enema yesterday. And that's why I went through the colon. So the first coffee enema for me was uh, an herbal tea called immunity bitters. It's about nine herbs that work with binding and transforming toxins. And then I did salt water and magnesium um, in that first enema that was kind of in and out. And then coffee for the second one was salt and magnesium in the right ratios. 
lay down for a half hour during that and um, had a nice little fell asleep for a minute, woke up feeling a lot lighter. And then I did a calm free plantain green juice enema with Bacopa and go to cola and pureed that in water and then let that sit and added a little sauerkraut juice. And so I've got live rebuilding factors from the calm free and the plantain. Plantain draws out more, but the coffee is so irritating to the gut wall, that last enema. And then I went back and it's about an hour process. And um, I would say I felt a thousand times lighter, a thousand times clearer and Probably the mood was, uh, if it was 98%, you know, not so good, it ended up turning about to about 90% good, like more skillful thinking, less negative thinking, less irritability. So it was a good day yesterday. And then today it kind of started the cycle again of waking up like, God, I just need to sleep more, but I have work to do. And a lot of people understand this. So the way around it is rest every moment you get, um, I'm going to take a 10, in about a half hour, I'm going to take a 10, 15, 20 minute rest break, do some yoga outside, and then come back for my open office hours, which is at four o'clock today. Hope you all had a great and enjoyed this, having a great day. If you are cleansing or thinking about it, try one day and go through some of the things we've talked about here. Pick a video blog you like and inspire yourself, you know, watch a little bit every day and inspire. We were looking at in the gender alchemy group means the in-breath inspire so to be inspired is to fill up and get enthusiastic because enthusiasm means in theos theos means god so inspiration and enthusiasm are related thank you folks more on this later please comment please tell me what you want